Fossil is the name given to the remains or traces of a long dead plant or animal preserved in the Earth's crust since very ancient times. Fossils collected from all over the world are our most important source of information about the living things that once existed on Earth. The skeletons of living things, whose contact with the air was suddenly cut off, have survived down to the present day. Research into fossils permits us to learn about animals and plants, revealing which living things lived during which periods. It also provides evidence of the fact that some creatures, which existed millions of years ago, have remained unchanged to date. According to Darwin's evolutionary theory, whose invalidity has been definitely proven by the fossil record, species are descended from one single common ancestor. The emergence of such very different species took place with minute changes being added onto one another over a very long period of time. According to the theory, single-celled organisms appeared first, and over the course of hundreds of millions of years, these first developed into invertebrate marine creatures, and later into fish. These fish then moved onto dry land, giving rise to reptiles. According to the same claim, birds and mammals then evolved separately from reptiles. If all this were true, then a very large number of intermediate forms of species must have once existed as one life form supposedly evolved into another. For example, if reptiles really evolved into birds, then billions of half-reptile, half-bird forms must once have lived. These intermediate forms would have had incomplete, non-functional wings. It was Darwin who originally named these hypothetical imaginary creatures intermediate forms. He knew that if his theory was to be verified, then the remains of these intermediate forms would have to be unearthed in the fossil record. In his book, The Origin of Species, Darwin wrote, If my theory be true, numberless intermediate varieties linking most closely all of the species of the same group together must assuredly have existed. Consequently, evidence of their former existence could be found only amongst fossil remains. However, Darwin was also well aware that the fossil record contained absolutely none of his intermediate forms. That's why he devoted a special chapter in his book to the matter, where he posed these worrisome questions. Why, if species have descended from other species by insensibly fine gradations, do we not everywhere see innumerable transitional forms? As by this theory, innumerable transitional forms must have existed. Why do we not find them embedded in countless numbers in the crust of the earth?